Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech and I'll show you how to share your paid Android apps on other devices and your family members devices. So if your family member has their own account and your own you know, Android device, a tablet, phone, doesn't matter. Um, this is how to share your paid Android apps between each other. All right, so you want to go to Google, the App Store, the Google Play Store, and then click on Menu, and then click on Accounts. All right, now you want to add their account to your tablet, and then basically download that app, and then later on you could delete their account from your tablet. <clears throat> So just temporarily, if you want, just add that account. You could do this, I think, to three devices or maybe more. Who knows? Uh, so if you guys know that, let me know. And it says, do you want to add an account? Click on existing. <clears throat> and then put your email address and password to the device that you had it on, you know, the paid app. All right, once you sign in your account that you paid for all the apps, on the, um, your friends or you know, your family members account the new tablet and basically you just want to just put on the apps so let's uncheck everything else uh, you can do that I guess and then everything else uncheck so this is what basically I want to share my app data my uh, my books and my movies and stuff like that. And then hit next. And let's go get him. See right here it says, I don't know if you can see that, there's a green check mark right there. Well that means it's, well it's not installed, but it's available. So you can click on that. And then you can install it now. So it has a green check mark. That means you can, um, it's not already installed, but you can actually um, install it. If that makes any sense at, at all. And proceed. And now he has the Amazing Spider Man game. So he has the Amazing Spider Man movie and the Amazing Spider Man game. So he's going to be pretty happy, I guess. And hit back. And then what else? Oh, the Batman game. So I'll go ahead and get the Batman game too. Batman game. And click on that. See right here? It's green check mark. That means it's not installed yet, but you can install it. It's available. And then click on that. Install. Next, yeah. proceed and click on settings, settings, and then you want to go to your accounts, your Google accounts right here, and then from there you could just delete whatever account you um, you know, you want. Now, when you go back in the accounts in your settings. And you can see that their account is gone. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe to Tampa Tech. And check out my other YouTube videos. How to fix tablets and uh, computers and TVs. Later, guys. And as you can see, the Batman game works fine on the Nexus 7, on his tablet. And I have it on mine. So now we both have it on our tablets. So that's how you do it. And my account is deleted from his tablet, so you can't mess with my emails or my contacts or any of my information because it's deleted from his tablet. But he still has my Batman game I paid for on my tablet.